Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Transfer Stories. This one, as you can tell by my thumbnail, is about is about Jack Greenish. He looks like he's going to be on the move this summer. No matter whether Villa go down, stay up, whatever they do, it looks like he'll definitely be on the move. I'm going to talk to you about where I think he'll end up as well. But anyway guys, let's get to the video straight on the way, so guys, you know what to do, subscribe for more, thanks for watching, and let's go. So, Jack Greenish, his interests from clubs like Man United, Man City, and Tottenham, if I had to choose one of them three clubs that he will end up, I'll probably go for United, I don't think he's settling at City, I don't think he'll barely get a look in him, if I'm all honest, no disrespect to Jack. Well, I think he's a very good player. But Tottenham, I think him and Jose Mourinho's personalities will clash too much as well. So the only place I can really see him fitting in is at Man United. For the players like Mitchell who's coming towards the end of his career. Jack Greenish is 24 years old, so he's younger than me by quite a few years. Um, you know, he's had a great career at Villa. But as I said at the top of this video, it looks like he'd definitely be on the move this summer, whether that is at Man United, Man City, Tottenham, or wherever, wherever else. I will give you my club that I think he might go to at the end of this video. But only being the age of 24, you know, it's a good age for Jack to start moving on and start perhaps building up his career. He's got seven goals this season. Now, seven goals for a midfielder, that's not too bad. He has got a powerful right foot, I think he is. I think he's right foot. But, you know, the likes of Jack doing that, definitely looks like he'll def definitely be on the move this season. So, you know, you really have got to think about the times and if it'll go down. And In my opinion, do I see Villa going down? I want to actually see West Ham... Feel like drawing points at the end of the season. Last game, winner takes all. Winner stays up, loser goes down. Bit like that, because that definitely be a game I'm interested in. Anyway, whether the likes of me watch that or not, it depends how my team's doing. Um, but he don't run out of contract till 30th of June 2023, which is literally supposed to be our last World Cup year. So, you know, the likes of Jack doing that. But, you know, 2023, will he get called up for the England squad uh, for the 20, 2022 World Cup? We have to wait and see. Last date of him sparring contract was 24th of September 2018. So, you know, he's done a long-term contract between the contract he's in now and the last one. He's got two citizenships. One I didn't know about, the other one I didn't. He's got one in England and he's got one in Ireland. He's played a minimum of 3,010 minutes this season. It's a lot of football for a 24 year old. He's played for the Republic of Ireland under 17, under 18, under 21. He's also played for the England under 21, so he's kept both doors open. Been a slight of contract, out of contract, 20th, uh, 2023, sorry is, you know, I reckon it's going to be around about £25-£30 million move if he does. Seven goals for a midfielder like Jack. I've seen him play. He's one of the best players at Philly, in my opinion. As I said, I do like him as a player. I know some of you rate him, I know some of you don't. But in my opinion, I rate him. I think he should be in the England squad, but that's just my opinion. If I had to choose one card for Jack, I'd probably go Arsenal. Now, it's no disrespect to Jack or to any clubs that have found interest. I just don't think he's quite ready for European football. But this story will definitely be an eye-opener for this window. But anyway, guys, I'm going to bring this video to an end. So, guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Give us a little big thumbs up if you enjoy it. And ciao for now.